My boyfriend didn't want to pay $200 to save my life. I was at a bar with my boyfriend and his friends a while ago. We all had a great time, dancing on tables, singing and drinking. I remember feeling totally fine one second, and the next I got very unsteady, and I lost connection with my body. I got confused and scared, but then just so calm. It was all types of weird. There are seconds here and there that I remember, but most things that happened after that I simply can't remember. I became unconscious, and according to my boyfriend, the few times I opened my eyes they looked very scared. He was told to get a taxi and get me to the emergency room fast. He managed to get me into the taxi and it started to drive. My boyfriend told me that during the drive, the driver told him that he would have to pay $200 extra if I threw up. My boyfriend replied saying F no, stopped the driver and wanted to walk to the emergency room. I was still unconscious, and he didn't know why, or if my life was at risk. Luckily for him, the police was driving around and saw me laying on the ground. They asked him what's up, and drove us to the emergency room with blue lights on and fast. They took it very seriously and without them my boyfriend would have been lucky to even get me to the emergency room. When we finally got to the emergency room, it turned out I got drugged that night. It got worse, as he forced me to walk with shaky legs from the emergency room the day after. A walk that should have been 20 minutes took me 2 hours. He even started talking about the fact that he could have gotten drugged too, and this was just as bad for him as for me, even though he didn't feel weird at all that night, then he started to talk about him paying the taxi $40 for the little drive and how much that was, like he wanted me to pay him back or something, he constantly stated that it was $40 and how sick that was, he looked up symptoms related to being drugged, and found that long term symptoms would mostly be trauma, the next weekend I had to be with his friends again and some people I didn't know. They talked about that night and even made joked a little around me being drugged. They didn't joke a lot about it, but I still felt awful. He also ignored me once when I said someone was following me. He was never scared of letting me walk around in town at night, but if a female friend did it, then he would have to follow her. He argues when I'm scared instead of making me feel better or protecting me. Other than that he's a kind man that doesn't want to hurt people but like, this cannot be normal? Is this a relationship worth it? I'm scared I'm overreacting but keep in mind that most of this is told from his perspective, as I don't remember that night. Time for an update. I forgot to tell you guys that I asked him what he would have done differently if this happened today, and paying the taxi was not on the list. I said it in the comments, but it's difficult to even see it at this point. I just have to say that he did call for an ambulance, but they didn't come. According to him it was one of the first things he did, but he told them I was conscious and so they didn't feel the need to come. An ambulance is basically free here, meaning it would have saved him some money. He would have no reason not to call. Some people also said that I should have paid him back for the taxi, and I agree based on the information I gave you, but I was the one that paid for drinks that night, and I spent a lot more than $40 on him. In total I spent $176 to be exact. I also want to say thank you for all the feedback. It feels both awful and good having my feeling validated. In a way I wanted you guys to tell me that I was overreacting and that he really tried his best. Seeing that you also find this situation a little effed up makes me feel less crazy though haha. And yeah, I'll dump him. I think it will be the best for the both of us.